I cannot imagine this story. The determination of a mom is pretty amazing, especially when it comes to her children. This morning, the story of one mom who was brought back to life just minutes before delivering her daughter. Yeah, Team 12's Jen Wall has her incredible story of survival. Jen, you went to school with this woman? Yeah, and that's how I saw her story on Facebook. I was following it along, just thought it was so incredible to share. She says her life could have ended at any moment without her even knowing it. Even though it was not the delivery situation she was hoping for, it could have been much worse if she was not in the hospital when her heart stopped. For as long as she can remember, Darcy Carhill wanted to become a mom. For years and years and years and it just didn't happen or it wasn't the right time. So when she was on her way to the hospital to be induced at 37 weeks, I was really nervous. I'd been nervous my entire pregnancy for just like giving birth in general. I was terrified. But nothing could have prepared her for the moment she would die right before delivery. I was so distraught because I didn't know what had happened. An event so traumatic, Darcy's husband has to fill in the details nearly three months later. Something's wrong with my wife. I need somebody in here right now. In serious trouble, Darcy seized at the hospital after being induced. Next thing they're saying is, uh, all right, clear, we're going to shock her. And I'm like, OK, I can't stay in here anymore. Bo says Darcy's heart stopped. She died, her daughter still inside of her. Freaking out. I'm, I'm afraid that I'm going to be lo I'm going to lose my wife and my this one here, my newborn. Bo says doctors performed an emergency C-section, saving baby Aria. Then it was time to save mom. It's very rare to see a mom have a cardiac arrest during labor and delivery. Darcy didn't know she was suffering from QT long syndrome, a genetic heart condition Dr. Michael Years Foley estimates time. affects about one in every 200,000 pregnancies. The oxygen flow to the coronary arteries stop the effect of the oxygen getting to the muscle of the heart, and then the muscle of the heart can die. Today, Darcy wears a pacemaker, and she says she feels better than ever thankful for the amazing medical team that saved her and her tiny new one. There's going to be a connection between me and her for the rest of my life. A connection she will forever be grateful for. Even beyond just her being my daughter and knowing that she's the reason that I'm still here today. I 100% believe that she saved my life. So Darcy says she will have to see a cardiologist for the rest of her life and her OBGYN actually told her she's healthy enough to have more babies in the future if her and her husband decide to go that route. Baby Aria is now being tested to see if she has the same heart condition and I know Emma was just asking why she was sent to the hospital early. Well, it's because she was low on fluid and there were so many medical professionals who played a role in saving her life here because the ultrasound tech is the one who caught that was like, no, we think you need to go to the hospital. So wow. kudos to everyone for stepping in here. Incredible. They're all a bunch of angels for saving that woman's life. Wow.